I'm going on my lunch. I'm at work. Um, why do I look like a, a fortune teller today? Dude, my car tripod situation is awful. <sighs> I did find the the really good little car mount that I did have like a while ago in Texas is still on here, but I couldn't find the phone case that I had the um, magnet hooked onto and I just found it recently, so I need to get that. But sometimes I don't use this car, so. Anyways, hi, I'm on my lunch eating ham and cheese croissant <sighs> I'm so tired of Starbucks food but like it's convenient sorry yesterday's vlog was a little uneventful um, I don't have too much going on for today but at least it is my Friday so after I get out of work which is at 11 a.m. then I'm done for the next two days so I wanted to tell you guys my regular drink that I get from Starbucks like every single time I work and I make uh, something that's almost the same thing at home with my espresso machine which I'm still planning on doing those videos so no worries but I wanted you guys to try my drink because I thought that would be like fun a uh, fun part of the video I would have the drink with me but I literally just finished drinking it and so I feel silly not having it to show you guys. But honestly, it's in a hot cup, so you can't even see the liquid anyways. So, um, at my Starbucks, we do this cute little thing with this A-frame chalkboard. And we put, like, a barista's choice every few week, every couple weeks. So, like, a barista will put their favorite drink on the board. So, like, if a customer wants to try something new or they don't know what to get that day, they can be like, oh, I'll try the barista's choice today. Like, a special at a restaurant or something, right? So we call mine the Chris. <laughs> so the Chris is, and not nobody at any other Starbucks is gonna know what the Chris is, so you can't just say that to them. But um, it's essentially a venti hot latte. And I'll write this on the screen for you because you gotta try it, it is so good. It's not fancy, it's not like too crazy of flavors. It's very, um, chill because I really it's really just has a vanilla flavor so I think a lot of people could like it it's not like these crazy flavors and doesn't have too too much sugar I would say so anyways it is a venti hot latte made with oat milk vanilla and then add one pump of brown sugar so just in case they ask you how many pumps of vanilla you want because you're adding the brown sugar in the hot venti latte I do the five pumps of vanilla and one pump of brown sugar. I get blonde espresso and I get it ristretto. And that's my drink, that's my favorite drink. I've already drank two of them today. It's literally my obsession. It is just the perfect latte in my opinion. So I would love if you guys could try that and then come back and tell me in the comments like if you liked it, that would be really, really interesting. So, after I get out of work, I am planning to go to the gym with hubby, and then I'm just gonna go home and honestly, just chill. Like, I'm so exhausted. I did not sleep enough last night, um, cause I hung out with friends, and I had to wake up at four, so, and then I had to get the video up, so I pretty much slept for four hours last night. I'm so tired. It's gonna be a lazy day after the gym but I'm going to start editing this so that all I have to do is like add the next clips and then like hopefully have this up before 10 o'clock because the first day was like 11 o'clock and now it was like 10.30 last night. I'm like, oh my gosh, girl. Do you guys mind if it's late though? Cause like I feel like if I have plans at night or in the evening, um, I have to wait to film that obviously. So it will be a late upload, but do you mind it or is it cool do you stay up late or is it like you like watching it in the morning with your morning coffee let me know um because honestly i don't think i could get it up any earlier than like eight or nine o'clock to be very honest with you so that's probably going to be around the average time anywhere from like eight to ten i literally feel so bad because i have nothing exciting to do today it's literally just a recovery um the rest of today so like 
yeah, obviously I worked this morning. It feels like yesterday, but it was this morning. Went to the gym, came home, ate lunch, fell asleep for like maybe an hour and a half. I took a nap, woke up. I've just been laying on the couch with hubby talking and um, I got to start making dinner because I'm hungry. I just, <laughs> I guess I'll show you guys what we make for dinner and that'll be like the thing for today. I just, I'm so tired and now it's being, it's uh, clear to me that doing Vlogmas was a lot easier when I did not have a job. I mean, there was a lot of years where I did have a job when I did Vlogmas, but there was a year or two where... I was not having a job outside the home and I was doing Vlogmas and that was a lot easier. I am so tired and I think it's just like a buildup of the week and like I'm going to recover tonight. I'm going to sleep in tomorrow and I should be all set tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm just over here like feeling like crap. Like uh, I can't get out of my my sleepiness, my tiredness, like my whole body obviously because I, I worked out too so that didn't help but I've been really trying to work out for like the mental health um, benefits. Today was the first day that I didn't take an antidepressant um, from weaning off. So I think I've been doing the lower dose for like a week and a few days. And she said between a week and two weeks, you can stop. Just like stop it. And I was like, okay. So I was just like, all right, I'm not going to take it today. Um, I have been taking those gummy vitamins I showed you guys from Walmart the um saffron vitamin d1 and the ashwagandha i also take alpha gpc or something like that for cognitive support and that's just like for brain function i feel like i noticed that helped me um I, when i took it the other day i really felt like i was focused uh so that's good and i take a b12 Took my vitamins a little late today because I didn't bring them to work. So I think I took them around 1 o'clock. But yeah, I, I'm feeling okay. And I think that exercise is only going to just help me. Um, but yeah, so it's really fun to go with hubby to the gym. Like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't like to exercise. I really don't. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people like to exercise. I really don't. Like if I didn't have to for health or anything, I would never do it. Unless it was like by accident, like shopping is my cardio. But um, honestly, going with him is fun. And it's not like we push ourselves to do a long time. Like we did just 30 minutes today and I just did the treadmill on an incline. Um, I don't push myself too hard, but I also don't like, you know, go super super slow but I don't I don't push myself and I know I'm not there for any aesthetic reasons like I'm not there to build a, a physique I'm not there to get skinny I'm literally there for the health benefits like I just want to get the endorphins for my mental health that's literally it so that's like takes off a lot of pressure which is cool but like yeah it's like I don't know, like a little bonding thing that we have together now. And it's nice that because my mother and father-in-law live here now that we can go a couple times a week, which we never could before unless magically he got out of work early and I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have work that day and the kids were at school or something like that. But that barely, barely happened. So it's been really nice to go. And it's a lot more motiva motivating to go to a gym to work out sometimes and to do it at home because if you're at home you could just be like never mind I'm not doing it I'm gonna watch my show on the couch <laughs> so it's been good um who knows I'm really bad at keeping things in a routine so we'll see how long it lasts for I'm not promising anything I'm gonna go get dinner started I don't know what we're making we're either making a chicken Caesar salad wrap or we're having the TikTok pasta, which I'm obsessed with. So I'll show you guys how we make it. It's on TikTok. It's not my personal recipe. I'm not taking credit for it. I don't know who the originator is, but I know it's not my recipe. It's just so good. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it.